Do you remember your kindergarten teacher? We were just talking about this. If she's anything like Jamie Shank, you might. Shank has taught school in Rochester for over 20 years now. She's often the minority in a classroom full of black and brown students. Shank says she recognized early on that her privilege as a white woman could be used as a tool to not only educate but advocate for families who don't always have an equal opportunity at success. Shank kicks off our 2022 celebration of the remarkable women of our area. October, November, December. Yay! Before I visited Jamie Shank's kindergarten class at Rochester's World of Inquiry School, she wanted to make something clear. A lot of the things that I do, the reason I don't necessarily find them remarkable is I find it to be a responsibility. She explained that she does not want this to be another story about a white person coming to the rescue of minorities who are trying to make ends meet or struggling to provide a quality education for their kids. Every parent sees their child being successful and being amazing and doing incredible things for our community. Is Mrs. Schenck known to provide clothes, groceries, and other basic resources for the students in her class? Sure. But she maintains it's because her job, her calling, is to find ways to lessen the load caused by a system of biases and inequities so these kids can achieve the same type of success all parents desire. Many of them work multiple jobs and go to school and are raising their family and rely on public transportation and still they show up when I, when I ask them to. So that's something that I definitely hold dear to my heart. Part of the reason parents show up is due to the relationships Shank builds and the connections she maintains. She actually surprised me more than anything um, just because of her presence and also just being very aware of our culture. I think that was extremely helpful. And at first I was a little taken back because I was like, well, how'd she know about this? You know, so it was like, it was very interesting to, for her to be able to relate. Um, but then I also seen her actually not just like preach it, she practices it. Recently when classrooms sat vacant during the pandemic, she made house visits. So when I shared with her just how hard it was to get him to engage, she literally was like, well, I can come to your house and I can, I can be outside. And I was like, what? Like, who does that? I just sort of rolled up on the, you know, on their porch and he was like, oh my gosh. So we hung out for a while in the driveway and we chalked and talked and drew and read and did some writing. And it was really rewarding for me, you know, to be back in the presence of a little human and really good for his little soul too. In late January, she got a surprise update from another parent whose daughter she taught 12 years earlier. I was just walking into school and there had been a broken down bus out front and I took notice of it. And one of the mechanics looks up and says, Mrs. Shank, Mrs. Shank, oh my gosh, is it you, is it Mrs. Shank? And I immediately knew who he was. Their encounter caught on security camera speaks for itself. We had this moment of like embracing and just during the impromptu reunion she learned how Mr. Young's daughter is now studying to become an oncologist. It is just pure joy. It's it's like the best thank you note you know that you can get when somebody just has that level of surprise and excitement for seeing you. <laughs> And Jamie Shank's husband, Randall, nominated her for this recognition. He writes, anyone who has ever met her knows she is a remarkable woman. And he adds, not only is she a dedicated teacher, she's an amazing mom of three boys, wife, and friend.